the different types of tethered cord, of course, there's the open spina bifida, which I just showed you where the spinal cord comes down, opens up like a flower and is attached to the skin, but there's all those occulta or closed lesions too. The most frequent being a lipomyelomeningocele, which is where the fat has early access. The, the mesoderm can get in and attached to that neuroectoderm. There's different types of lipomyelomeningocele. There's where it comes in and just comes on the dorsum of the cord. It, you can have it where it's attached to the end of the cord or called um, a distal uh, lipomyelomeningocele. The more challenging ones are the transitional where it comes in and it may be dorsal, but it also involves those roots. Many times it involves the dorsal roots. Rarely you can see it also involves the motor roots, which are on the ventral side and can be on the ventral side of the cord, which I don't need to tell you, this would be very challenging, right? To untether and not injure the nervous system. So commonly you're not able to completely release the spinal cord from this fat tissue. The last type of lipomyelomeningocele is what Dr. Pang put forth as a chaotic, where the nerve roots are just randomly going through the fatty tissue. And again, that is very uncommon, but impossible to get completely untethered. You can also have, and we'll go through different pictures of these so that they make sense for you for spina bifida occulta, a myelocystocele, which is where the spinal cord comes down and ends in a water balloon a diastematomyelia or a split cord malformation where the spinal cord can is initially normally developing and then it splits into two either around a bony septum or a fibrous septum. And then it may, may remain two separate cords or it may come back together into a single cord before it ends in either a fatty tumor, fatty mass like a lipoma or a fatty phylum. A dermal sinus tract or a meningocele monke, and if you've never heard of meningocele monke, I don't fault you. I'd never heard of that until I was the fellow in pediatric neurosurgery. And what Dr. McClone used to say is that one's the reverse of the other. Remember that the nervous system comes from the ectoderm, right? The outer layer of, of the embryo and the tissue that's going to become the spinal cord. When it pulls away from the skin, it can pull in a tract of skin and that's known as a dermal sinus tract. Dr. McClone used to say what, that's when the spinal cord wins out because it pulls the skin in. When the skin wins, it pulls out aberrant nervous tissue. And in truth, they look exactly the same when you operate on these. But the difference on the skin, and I'll show you pictures, dermal sinus tract can just be a little pinhole opening on the back above the gluteal crease. The meningocele monke almost looks like a cigarette burn. It's just where it's just not fully developed epithelium. And then lastly, the thickened phylum or the low-lying conus. Hey everyone, Ryan Rad here from neurosurgerytraining.org. If you like that video, subscribe and donate to keep our content available for medical students across the world.